More reasons to doubt Marco Mendicino on his changing story about Paul Bernardo's prison transfer. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. We have had doubts since the beginning about Marco Mendicino saying he didn't know. Nobody told him. He wasn't briefed when it came to Paul Bernardo being moved from a maximum to a medium security prison at the end of May. We've known for a while now that his office was told months earlier. The Prime Minister's office was told months earlier. The Privy Council office was told months earlier. But nobody told the Prime Minister or the Minister of Public Safety, the guy in charge of Canada's prison systems. He was just left out of the loop while senior bureaucrats and senior political staffers knew. That seems to be what they're saying. Now, Anne Kelly is the Commissioner of Corrections Canada. She had her job called for. People demanded that she be fired, including Ontario Premier Doug Ford, over the handling of this, because the Trudeau government made it sound like nobody told them. We know that's not the case now, and thanks to an access to information request submitted and now published by the Canadian press, we know even more, including that Anne Kelly was trying to warn the department. She had told them back in March that this transfer would happen, then, at the end of May, she sent an email to the top, two top bureaucrats at public safety, Sean Tupper and Tricia Geddes. Here is what the email said. I had said I would confirm the transfer with you. It will occur next week. That's what Kelly wrote on May 26. Tupper wrote back minutes later to thank her for the information. And one of the lines the Trudeau government has been using is that, well, Mendicino's staff couldn't have known that who Paul Bernardo was? I mean, they're all 20-something, these political staffers. First off, that's a lie. It's not true. Secondly, the bureaucrats knew, the senior bureaucrats. Does Sean Tupper or Tricia Geddes, people who have been senior bureaucrats for one to two decades, do they look like they're 20-somethings? Because these photos don't appear to look like 20-somethings to me. So that is a lie. We also know that the not all the political staffers are 20-somethings doing their first job just out of university. So that never held water. But now we know that Ann Kelly not only told them in March, she followed up in May. She didn't hear back except to say, thank you. And then the minister came public with this. And he blasted them once the story in the, uh, broke in the news. Here's what he put out in a statement issued to the media and on Twitter once this story became public. The Correctional Service of Canada's independent decision to transfer Paul Bernardo to a medium security institution is shocking and incomprehensible. Now, it shouldn't have been shocking to Mendicino or his department because they were told months earlier. Kelly writes to the minister right away and says, hello, minister, saw your tweet. I remain available to meet with you. Yes, we'll coordinate a call, was the reply from Mendicino within minutes. So... He should have known. Who didn't tell him? We don't know. Days later, on July 6, Kelly sent a follow-up email to Tupper and Geddes, this time saying that she's been hearing that people are claiming that the, the minister wasn't told of this, and she's getting questions about this from the Privy Council Office, the department, the most senior department in the government, the one that reports to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, which also knew about this transfer back in March. Here is what that email to Tupper and Getty said. I understand from my staff that someone at the ministry said that the minister had not been notified. We have a notification process in place, as you know, and we certainly followed it. Well, they certainly followed it, but did the minister not get told or is he lying? Which brings us to another question. Is he lying or is the public safety department just incompetent? Because what are the chances, you think, that someone like Sean Tupper or Trisha Geddes, two very well-experienced senior civil servants, would get information like this with an email, and in the subject line it says, high-profile offender, and you don't raise this with the minister? They certainly knew who Paul Bernardo was. Marco Mendicino knew. Did he just try and extricate himself from this, make sure he doesn't know anything he you know, might get in trouble over? I can't believe that Mendicino wasn't told. And if he wasn't told, then that means the department, the department in charge of our prisons, keeping our borders safe, protecting Canada from a terrorist attack is utterly incompetent. Neither of these is a good look for the government. Now, people have been calling for Mendicino to be fired for months now. That's not going to happen. But what will likely happen is sometime over the sleepy summer months, 
there's going to be a cabinet shuffle. Marco Mendicino is going to be shuffled away to a less dangerous portfolio for him. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.